Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the solution and discussion of UPSC Engineering Service Examination. The subject is thermodynamics and we will be taking few questions on entropy and availability from various IES question papers. The first question, consider the following statements. Entropy is related to the first law of thermodynamics. The internal energy of ideal gas is a function of temperature and pressure. Zeroth law of thermodynamics is the basis for temperature measurement. Which of the above statements are correct? 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 3 and 1, 2, 3. Entropy is related to first law of thermodynamics. That is the wrong statement. Entropy is related with the second law of thermodynamics. The other two statements, internal energy of ideal gas is a function of temperature and pressure and the zeroth law of thermodynamics is the basis for temperature measurement. These two statements are correct. Two and three are correct. One is wrong. Next question, consider the following statement. The entropy of pure crystalline substance at absolute zero temperature is zero. The efficiency of reversible heat engine is independent of nature of working substance and depend only on the temperature of the reservoir between which it operates. Carnot theorem states that of all heat engines operating between the given temperature of source and given and the given constant temperature of sink, none has higher efficiency than the reversible engine. Which of the above statements are correct? 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. So, here all the three statements are correct. So, absolute zero entropy of pure crystalline substance, solid substance at absolute zero temperature is zero. The efficiency of reversible heat engine independent of the nature of working substance only depends on only on the temperature and the Carnot theorem uh, of all heat engines, the Carnot engine will have the highest efficiency. The next question, which of the following relationship represent the change, in, change of entropy of perfect gas? There are four statements given. First statement Cp into dt by t plus r into dv by v. Second statement Cp into dt by t minus r into dp by p. Third statement Cv into dp by p plus Cp into dv by v. And the fourth statement Cp into dp by p minus Cv into dv by v. So, the correct statements are 1, 2, 3. First three statements are correct. So, we will see how. So, in the derivation of uh, entropy, the entropy is given by S2 minus S1 equal to Cv into logarithmic of T2 by T1 plus R into logarithmic of V2 by V1 and the change in entropy S2 minus S1 equal to Cv into logarithmic of P2 by P1 plus Cp into logarithmic of V2 by V1. Also, S2 minus S1 equal to Cp into logarithmic of T2 by T1 minus R into logarithmic of P2 by P1. These are all the three expressions available to calculate the change in entropy of any thermodynamic process. Next question, the entropy generated can be taken as criterion for criterion to indicate indicated feasibility of the process. Which of the following conditions are correct? If S entropy generation is equal to 0, then the process is reversible process. If the entropy generation is greater than 0, then the process is irreversible process. When the entropy generation is less than 0, then the process is impossible. Select the correct answer using the code given below. So, the correct answer, it may be 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 1 and 3 and 1, 2, 3. The answer is 1, 2, 3. All the three statements are correct with respect to entropy generation. The next question, the statement 1, cyclic integral of del q by t equal to 0, the cycle is reversible. Statement 2, cyclic integral of del q by t is greater than 0, the cycle is irreversible and possible. Select the correct answer using the code given below. So, both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true and the statement 2 is correct explanation for statement 1. Both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true, but the statement 2 is not the correct explanation for the statement 1. Statement 1 is true, but the statement 2 is false. Statement 1 is false, but the statement 2 is true. So, the correct answer is statement 1 is true, cyclic integral of del q by t equal to 0 for a reversible process. And statement 2 is false. So, if the statement cyclic integral del q by t less than 0, then the cycle is reversible and possible. So, this is impossible cycle. 
The next question, which are the following statements pertaining to entropy are correct? The entropy of a system reaches its minimum value when it is in the state of equilibrium with its surrounding. Entropy is conserved all the reversal processes. Entropy of a substance is least in the solid phase. Entropy of a solid solution is not zero at absolute zero. Absolute zero temperature. So the answers, options are 1, 2, 3 only, 2, 3, 4 only, 3 and 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the 4. So the correct answer is 2, 3, 4. So entropy is conserved for the reversal process. Entropy of a substance is least for the solid, solid phase or the crystalline substance. Entropy of solid solution is not zero at absolute zero temperature. So one is the wrong statement. So this is the entropy of reversal process is conserved because there is no entropy generation. This is not disorder of molecule in solid phase. There is there is no there is no disorder of molecules in the solid phase. Hence the solid phase will have the least entropy. Third law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of a perfect crystal is zero at absolute temperature as it represents the maximum degree of disorder. So these are all the answers to the question. The next question. The effect of heat transfer from high temperature body to low temperature body are the energy conserved, the entropy is not conserved, the availability is not conserved. Which of the above statements are correct? 1 and 2 only, 1 and 3 only, 2 and 3 only, 1, 2, 3. The answer is 1, 2, 3. All the three statements are correct. So, we will see how explanation. First law of thermodynamics states that energy is, con is a conserved quantity. For a reverse, irreversible cycle, entropy will increase, which means entropy is not conserved. The available energy will decrease, will decrease when heat is being transferred from high temperature body to a low temperature body, so the availability is not conserved. Next question, 100,000 kilojoules per second of heat transferred from a constant temperature heat reservoir maintained at 1000 Kelvin to a system at a constant temperature of 500 Kelvin. The temperature of surrounding is 300 Kelvin. Net loss of available energy as a result of this heat transfer is 450 kilojoules, 400 kilojoules, 350 kilojoules and 300 kilojoules. The answer is 300 kilojoules. You will see how in the next slide. So the heat transfer Q equal to 1000 joules, temperature T1 equal to 1000 Kelvin and T2 equal to 500 Kelvin. The entropy generation. So from the for the heat transfer process. So Q by T2 minus Q by T1. So, 1000, 1000 divided by 500 minus 1000 divided by 1000 equal to 1 kilojoules per Kelvin. Loss of availability is TO into entropy generation. So, TO is 300. Surrounding temperature is 300 into 1 equal to 300 kilojoules per second. The next question, a Carnot engine operates between 37 degrees Celsius and 347 degrees Celsius. If the engine produces 620 kilojoules of work, the entropy change during the heat addition process. There are four options, 1 kilojoules per Kelvin, 2 kilojoules per Kelvin, 3 kilojoules per Kelvin and 4 kilojoules per Kelvin. The answer is 2 kilojoules per Kelvin. So, we will see how in the next slide. The temperature of the heat addition, 347 degrees Celsius which is 620 Kelvin. Temperature of heat rejection, T2 equal to 37 degrees Celsius which is 310 Kelvin. Work done equal to 620 kilojoules. The efficiency of the cycle, eta equal to 1 minus T2 by T1 which is 1 minus 310 divided by 620 equal to 0 0.5. So, heat supplied Q1 equal to W by eta, work done divided by the efficiency, 620 divided by 0.5 equal to 1240 kilojoules. The entropy change with the heat addition process, delta S equal to Q1 divided by T1, 1240 divided by 620 equal to 2 kilojoules per Kelvin. That is the answer to the problem. We stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. Uh, you can refer to the subject for additional uh, theory, theory and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, use the videos for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me through my mail ID or WhatsApp number for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture in thermodynamics. Until then, bye.